Vamos a ver. <coughs> Bach. Se nos puso de malas el zoom y me sacó. Qué chistoso, va. Ahí está ya el primer video grabado. Ahí va a aparecer dos pedacitos de video, el primero y de solo la tienda y el otro. Ok, well, solo esperemos que ya no se nos vuelva a trabar. Eh, remember yesterday we said right that well we were talking about vocabulary related to training right that was uh, the topic for yesterday training how do we identify when there is a necessity of training in the company how what do we do in that case right i'm going to start sharing and we're going to continue talking yeah. we're going to continue talking about training and also we are going to start with a new uh, structure today that is will when to use will we will cover that structure today and tomorrow right And the day after tomorrow, we're talking about will and the present progressive. Those are the two grammar points we have in unit number four, will. How to use will for talking about future. Okay. Well, we will start with this vocabulary today. Check the terms. Uh, they are related to training personnel, right? Training and personnel. Uh, we have goal, feedback, budget, knowledge cap, coaching, and qualifications. So what you're going to do is look at the, look at the words, look at the definitions, and match the words with the definitions. How to use, or how do you use this vocabulary? Well, and how do you match the words? Mm -hmm.
Are you ready? Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Perfect, perfect. Now, there we go. <clears throat> what is a goal? What is a goal? What's the definition for goal? A desired result or possible outcome. I know. Okay. A regular, but a, a desired result of possible outcome. Okay. What is feedback? Helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. Uh -huh, very good. Where is budget? An estimation of income and expenses. Income, 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 income. In. Mm -hmm. in, like with the stress in, in, in. income and expenses. Very good. What is knowledge gap? An irregular balance of what a person should know. Mm -hmm. Very good. I see that you learned that from yesterday, right? Okay, coaching. The process of improving the performance of an employee. Mm -hmm. And qualifications. A quality that make. Uh -huh. A quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. Uh -huh. For example, when you see an advertisement for a job, eh, you have to pay attention to the qualifications, right? So what are the things that you need to do or that you need to know? What type of knowledge you need to have and what are the qualities or the skills that you should have? Those are your qualifications, right? What are the type of skills you have you should have in order to be able to, to say, okay, I'm here, I want to apply for the job, right? That's very important. Okay, repeat goal. 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 A desired result, a desired result or possible outcome. <clears throat> mm -hmm. A desired desire result. Desire. result or possible outcome. Result. Or possible outcome. outcome. Feedback. 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 Helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. Helpful information, <clears throat> helpful information or criticism or criticisms about the performance of a person. About the performance of a person. About the performance of a person. Budget. 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 An estimation or outcome or income and expenses. An estimation of income and expenses. An estimation, An estimation of income and expenses. No income, porque income tiene stress aquí. Income. And we're saying income. No, no income. 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 Mm -hmm. income. income. In. Mm -hmm. Income. Income. Exactly. Knowledge gap. Knowledge gap. Knowledge gap. 
knowledge. An irregular balance of what a person should know. Uh -huh. An irregular balance of what a person should know. Yes. Coaching. Coaching. <clears throat> Coaching. The process of improving the performance of an employee. The process, the process of improving the performance, performance of, of an employee. employee. Qualifications. 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 A, Qualifications. Quality, a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. A quality, a quality that makes that someone suitable, suitable, suitable for, for a, a particular job. job. Mm -hmm. A quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. Okay. <coughs> Any questions? No. No questions. Okay. Now. We're going to have an activity number six. You're going to remember yesterday, we were talking about training, vocabulary related to training. And we were also talking about training opportunities for personal, right? So here, identifying training opportunities for personnel, uh, what you're going to do is label the descriptions of the process with the right heading. You have the headings here, analyze the job, identify personnel's current skills and knowledge, identify training solutions, evaluate performance after training, and decide skills and knowledge gaps, okay? These are here, you have the descriptions, of the process for opportunities for personnel, right? Remember, we're talking about training opportunities for personnel. So you have to go uh, through the reading or reading all the descriptions of each of the processes, right? You have more here. And of course, choose the one, the heading, right, that describes that training opportunity for that process. For that, I'm going to send you to work in pairs. You can find uh, the words in the notebook, well, in the, in the manual, sorry. <clears throat> and be ready to share. Let's see. We only 13 today. And of the 13, I have five people who, that are not here. <laughs> well, I'm going to send you in groups of three. Let's see, let's see. Adriana, Carlos, David, Rosalinda, Diego. Okay. Mm -hmm. Grace is not here. No. Okay. <coughs> but I guess, uh -huh. I guess the the four people are included. Well, let's go to the let's go to the groups. And remember, you match the headings with the descriptions, right? Any questions? No questions? No? Okay. Well, there we Try to join.
Creo que... Conectar. ¿Cómo? Ahorita me acabo de conectar, no, no escuché las indicaciones. Pero no está de oyente, ¿verdad? Porque creo que me han tocado de oyente. No, no. Ah, va. No, yo sé. Ok. <risa> bueno, ahorita comparto para... Para ver qué vamos a hacer. Ok, de acuerdo. O sea, que no me siento muy bien. Le iba a decir a la teacher que iba a estar de oyente, pero hay muchos oyentes ahora. Me dio pena. Aquí estoy. <risa> thank you. Thank you. Te siento dormida en la cabeza. Uy, no, Rosy. Pero. Hay que consultar con un neurólogo porque ya no. Ya es que no. es como, ahora consulté con un doctor y este, es como neuropatía la que me ha dado por la forma en cómo me duele. Y. Uh -huh. Y me inyecté pichería, no así como en modo zombie. Ah, sí, me agarramos el modo zombie, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, así sí. como estaba yo aquel día dándoles la clase. ¿sabes? Realmente, que dije, quién sabe. Porque estaba mero zombie con tanta pastilla. No, sí. Pero sí. Sí. No, y teacher, usted de admirar, imagínese, usted se siente fatal y siempre dando la clase. Así tú. Sí, pero hay días que realmente el cuerpo no le responde a uno. Sí. Al pie del cañón. Ja. Exacto. ¿Ya se conectó bien, Josué? Sí. sí. No sé si puede compartir la pantalla. Ay, sí. Vaya, Carlos Josué. Working in exercise six. You have there five, eh, six eh, headings and six definitions or descriptions. What ah, okay. Have, bueno, five son. ¿Cuántos son? Sí, five. Okay, what you have to do is match the descriptions with the headings. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Um, Go ahead. Usted comenzamos. <laughs> voy a, si gusta, voy a leer el número uno. Uh, number one, list all opportunities and areas of improvement where training is necessary to increase effect. Effectiveness. Effectiveness. Mm -hmm. If there is a gap between the knowledge and skills of the staff, ask employees what areas they need help with. Um, vamos a ver. Las opciones son analyze the job. Identify personal current, personal current and skill knowledge. and knowledge. Identify training solutions, evaluate performance after training, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Quería yo que sería esa última. Decide skills and knowledge gaps. Okay, Yes. <coughs> Un poco confuso. Sí, es que dice listar todas las oportunidades y áreas de mejora eh, en el entren durante el entrenamiento. Pero eso, para... pero ahí este... Where okay. training is necessary. Where yes. is the training necessary? Cuando el entrenamiento es necesario. Uh -huh. Para incrementar la efectividad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and the skills. Of the stuff. The mm -hmm. And analyze the job. No. And then ask the employees what areas they need help with. Mm. Identify training solutions. Uh -huh. Identify personal. No. Read all the other descriptions and then you make a better decision. 
Okay. Okay. Find the best way to provide training, one on one coaching. Provide. Provide. Pro provide. Yo que dije, teacher. Pero ahorita, ah, pero... ahorita todo es vale, Rosy. No, no me que... <risa> Lo leí en español, teacher. No, mentira. <risa> okay. find, find the best way to provide. Hi, hi. Is Elda Cristina here? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. <coughs> With number two, uh, find the best way to provide training, one on one coaching, short term and long term trainings, e learning. Decide the option that best fits the needs of your staff and company. Um, I think it's identified training solution. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Elda, uh, your turn number three. Okay, uh, ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Look at the work area and check if there is still evidence of a deficiency in skills or knowledge. Uh, maybe it's evaluate performance after training. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the number one uh, was a decided skill knowledge gap. And number three, identify personal current skills and knowledge. I think it's a change. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rebecca, it's your turn. Okay. Observe what the employee does well and what needs improve. Set for qualification, training for. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Anybody can share? I identify that. Um, I the level the description of the process. Teacher that Tuesday finish the course. Okay, we finish next Tuesday. Ah, Tuesday. Okay. Ajá, así como no le di clase un día, ¿verdad? Eso se corre. Ah, ok. El, el seis. Sí. Corre. Ajá, y que estaba viendo sí. que si terminábamos lunes, sobraba. No. Ajá, no, no. No, se corre un ah, día. Ok. Ya que no dimos clase. Ah, ok. Entonces, el último día ya no hay actividad. Okay. Es el examen. Tienen tarea. Pero de hecho... De hecho, esta, este vocabulary que están haciendo hoy es para, y, y ahí me recuerdan, por favor, de decirle a todos, lo que estamos haciendo ahora va para la tarea número, la última. Ahí está este vocabulary. En la última, en la última tarea. 
Ah, 4.9. Sí. Para que así no, no pierdan, pues, ¿verdad? De adelantar. Pero el vocabulario hoy está en la tarea, en la última de, uh -huh. de la unidad 4. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno, yo como adelante todas, dicha. <risa> no, yo... Aprovechando Oye, lo que yeah. es de semana. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. How are you doing? Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. I'm going to one. Thank you. I'm going to see one last group. And then I call you back. Yo creo que ese sí es analyze the job. Este último. Yo siento que sí. Tengo mis dudas. Leámoslo y cambiemos lo que... Voy a subir un poquito, pero... No, yo creo que sí, así es. Así es. Ah. <risa> Dios mío, vaya, leámoslo, vaya, por ejemplo. <risa> El primero, vea, el de Identify Personal Current Skills and Knowledge. These uh, all opportunities and areas of improvement. Training is necessary to increase effectiveness. Decide if there is a gap between the knowledge. Uh, decide if there, there is a gap between the knowledge and the skills of the staff. Sí, yo creo que está bien ahí. As employees, what uh, areas they need? need help. Help. Ahí evaluate performance after training. Mm -hmm. Ask of members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Uh -huh. Look at the work area and check if there is still evidence, evidence of, of efficiency and skills or knowledge. Uh -huh. Yo creo que sí, Ivan. Sí, porque van, o sea, van a revisar con un checklist la evidencia de, de las deficiencias. Uh -huh. o, o... After training. Uh -huh. After training. Sí. And uh, decide the skill and knowledge gaps. ¿Quiere leer usted, José Alfredo? Cada. Apartado o con todo. No, ahorita el... el number four, el decide skills and knowledge gaps. Um, observe what the employees do as well and what needs improvement. Check for qualifications, training, courses, and responsibilities from previous positions. Get more individual information from human resources. So, 
no sería ese, Ana, la like La número, no, y no sería, no, no encuentran ustedes que identify personal current skills and knowledge. Uh -huh. Esa es. Analyze the job. <risa> Yo siento que la número cuatro podría ser analyze the job. Está analizando todo el trabajo y está obteniendo ayuda de, de recursos humanos. Sí. Y es que en, en el análisis de job, yo siento que discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. Write down the indicators of knowledge and skills. I'm at the position where... Es que en la número 5 se discute con el empleado y en la número 4 eh, obtiene toda la información del empleado, pero no de parte de él, sino que observándolo, chequeando, calificando y obteniendo más información individual de recursos humanos. ¿Qué me mueve eso? Ay. Hay un ratoncito por ahí, vea, o gatito. It's a baby cat, I think. I have six kitties. Right now. What? <laughs> hey, no se quedan callados. Can I see them? <laughs> What? Can we see them? <laughs> Can we watch the, the gatito, the kitties? <laughs> Can you see it? Okay. Yes, we want to see it. Baby, come here. <laughs> Efficient. Efficient. Yeah. Efficiency, 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 efficiency in skill or knowledge. <laughs> Teacher, and number one, ah, effective, effectiveness, 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 increase effectiveness, increase effectiveness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number four. Carlos, teacher, estamos perdidos, ¿verdad? No, ve alguna no, mala. No, no. Number okay. four, identify personal current skills and knowledge. Of, observe that the employees do well. And does, does well. Does well and what needs improvement. Check for qualifications, training, courses and responsibilities from previous positions. Get more individual information from human resource. Uh -huh. Okay, number five, analyze the job. <coughs> Discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. Write down indicators of knowledge and skill that match the position. Identify the processes changes in the description. Okay. There are a couple of them that are like, okay, it's this one, right? But there are others where you have to <laughs> a little bit and change a couple of things to get to the right one. Si tienen que entre más leemos, más nos confundimos en la definición. I know what it, I know that feeling. <coughs> si en español nos cuesta entenderlas, a ver en inglés. <laughs> uh. ¿Y tiene captura, Carlos? Sí, sí, ya le tomé captura, gracias. Ok.
Creemos que ya terminamos, teacher. Finished. Ok. Very good, very good. Vamos a ver. Miren, mm, pero qué suerte tiene. Vaya. Y allá nos vamos a dar cuenta que todas estaban equivocadas. <ríe> No, pero mire, tienen suerte porque en, en la tarea solo les piden que las numeren, no les piden que las definan. So, mm. so, that's, that's what I was watching. So, uh -huh. But it, yes, you're right. Vámonos. Ok. So let's go. Let's go. Ok. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Everybody here, no? No falta un par. Bye. A ver. The first one. Uh, list all opportunities and areas of improvement where training is necessary to increase effectiveness. Uh, decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and skills of the staff. Ask employees what areas they need help with. What is it? Cha, 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 cha. Yes. Un valiente. <ríe> Ay, si no está bueno, igual se puede cambiar, Beatty. Claro, claro. Ok. Identify training solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, identify personal current skill and knowledge. But if we go Skills back, and knowledge gaps. Eso les iba a decir yo. If you remember, mm -hmm. when we talk about knowledge gaps, this is what a person knows and what a person should know, right? And here, you list the opportunities. Remember, all our training opportunities, right? So you list the all the opportunities and areas of improvement where training is necessary. See? And then you decide if there is a gap. ¿Qué es un gap? Un vacío, right? Between the knowledge and the skills of the staff. So, ¿qué sabe? ¿Qué debe saber? Right? Ask employees what areas they need help. So I will go for this one. Yes, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Vamos a, a ver. <clears throat> Perdón, me callé yo solita. <laughs> But Let's cut. A ver, Cisos. Ok. 
okay, that's here, right? Okay, what about the second? Find the best way to provide training on one-on-one -on -one coaching, short-term and long-term trainings, e-learning, decide the option that best fits the needs of the staff and company. Identify training solutions. Mm -hmm. Training solutions, very good. Okay, now let's go for the next page. A ver, ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Look at the work area and check if there is still evidence of a deficiency in skills or knowledge. That's easy, right? Evaluate performance after training. Exactly. Here, evaluate performance after training. Number four, observe what the employee does well and what needs improvement. Check for qualifications, training, courses, and responsibilities from previous positions. Get more individual information from human resources. Identify personal current skill and knowledge. Mm -hmm. Current. Current no da la pauta, right? Que es lo que la persona sabe. Cuáles son sus habilidades al momento, right? En este momento, which are his or her abilities. Okay, and the last one, discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. Write down indicators of knowledge and skill that match the position. Identify the process changed in description. Analyze the year. Analyze. Analyze the job. Okay. Good. <coughs> Any questions? No questions? New teacher. No. No teacher. <laughs> so we're not teacher. We have no questions, teacher. Okay. Bueno, before we go to the next step, uh, let's call attendance, right? As we have no questions. Let's see. Hmm. Is it going to va llover or que 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 este mi internet está mero loco? No, dice que hay luna y que hay nube, según mi computer. No rain. It's, it's cloudy. But it shows no rain for today. But my internet is not stable and I'm the only one using it. Qué barbaridad. Bye, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher, in 10 minutes, I'm going to be available. Perfect. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carlos Jose. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Present teacher. Edwin. Edwin, Edwin. <coughs> Se nos perdió Edwin. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer. Elmer Fabricio. Gemma Carolina, Jessica, 
José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. No está. No está Carla. Pero sí estaba, ¿verdad? No. Así aquí está. Carlita. Carla, Carla. Lucetta Yanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel, Carolina, Grace. No here, Grace. Rosa Hilda. And Present Luis. teacher. Present. Luis Mauricio, no here. Ok. Se me han ido reduciendo. Tenía ya como 16. Y hoy solo veo 14. Se han fugado. Bueno, let's continue. Now that you know the definition, right, to the descriptions for each of these uh, training opportunities, we are going to work here. This is your turn. It says, use the process in the previous page to determine your skills and knowledge at work. Haha. Uh -huh. Analyzing time, right? Use the process <clears throat> in the previous page to determine uh, your skills and knowledge at work. Decide if you need to go to training and what training solutions would you prefer? Yes. So you will answer a couple of questions for each uh, of the of the processes, right? Number one, <coughs> analyze the job. What activities do I need to perform in my job? So that's when you analyze. What are your responsibilities, right? What are your responsibilities uh, for your job? In some companies, in the contract that you sign, you find the responsibilities that you have. Uh, they tell you, the, the job description, right? You can see there the job description and you can see a part of the job description, each of the, the skills that you should have and the responsibilities that you should comply with, right? Uh, for example, I'm giving you an example of a, where I work in the morning. One of the requirements is that at the end of the year, I have to plan all the year, right? I have to prepare all the lesson plans of the year and I have to get to leave ready all the evaluations of the following year. So that is part of the, of the description of the responsibilities I have. And during the time, I'm responsible for substituting if a partner is absent, right? So that's my responsibility. It's, it's part of the, how can I say? It is in the contract. So I cannot say, no, 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 I don't want, I'm free, bye-bye, I'm going home. No, if, if that is part of the description, right? In the analysis of the job, including not only the activities you do, but also the responsibilities you have with the company, according, of course, to the position, right? According to the job position that you have. Mm -hmm. But here, the question you have is, what activities do I need to perform in my job? So what are your responsibilities that you have to do? Now, 
for example, in my case, I don't have to answer the phone. I don't have to, well, I have to talk to parents, yes, but I don't have to, okay, to talk to them alone, right? I don't have to clean the, the rooms. I don't have to do that. That's not my responsibility. So what you're going to tell me here are what are the activities that you do according to your position that you know, because it's very necessary, that you exactly know what you have to do and what is somebody else's responsibility, right? Now, number two, identify my current skill and knowledge. What specific skills do I need to perform in my job? Am I skilled? So that means, do I have all the skills that I need? For example, in my case, a skill that I need for, for doing my job is one, speaking English, right? Speaking, writing, understanding English. That would be one skill. Another skill will be uh, getting or knowing how to use a platform to teach visually. If I don't know how to use a platform, I cannot work teaching online, right? So that is <clears throat> some, but remember, be very specific. Don't tell me uh, like in general everything, be very specific, right? Which are the specific skills that you need to perform in your job? And then are you prepared? Are you prepared? Remember now in the CV, you also include the skills that you have, right? That's, that's some very important part to include the skills. So are you skilled to perform that job? Then you say yes or no, why, why not? Okay, so it's a, give it more information. And number three, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Remember gaps means what I know, what I need to know. For example, if I said, well, I know English, um, but I need to know how to use Excel to keep my grades in, in updated, right? So uh -huh, that would be a gap that I could have, right? Are there any skills I lack? That means that I don't have. And that could help me do my job better. See, are there any skills I lack and that could help me do my job better? So think about those skills and you write them here. And then <clears throat> identify training solutions. What type of training program would be helpful to develop the skills I lack? Yes, now we're looking for solutions, right? Now that I know what I know and what I should know, hmm, what training program, program would be helpful for me to develop those skills I lack? What are some training solutions that do not conflict with my job schedule? Yes. Uh, remember when we were talking about trainings last time, some of you were saying, yeah, but the trainings are a part on time that, oh, my time, right? Oh, my time, not on my job's time. And we were like, uh -huh, but they should be during the work time. But check, what are some training solutions that do not conflict with your work schedule and my personal life? So there should be a balance, right? So I'm not taking like too much time from my schedule and I'm not going to comply with my responsibilities at work because I'm, I'm in training, right? So I cannot do this because I'm in training. Uh -huh. And the other one, well, I don't have time now to go to the supermarket because I have to be in a training. So make a balance here and check what are the training solutions that do not conflict that do not conflict with work 
but not even with personal life. So be like in the middle. And then you have some options like online trainings or online programs that you can do them whenever you want. On the job training, that means I go, have you seen in the bank where there is somebody sitting uh, working, right? And there is another person just the, like this. So they, they are just watching the other work and they ask questions when they see something where they probably got lost or they didn't understand everything when they have a question, right? So that would be an on-the-job training. So you're watching another person work and that way you're learning to do what that person does but because that will be part of your responsibility too. And the other one would be mentoring. <clears throat> What is mentoring? So, someone like to guide you? Somebody guiding you, see? You will have a person watching what you do and telling you, vaya, eso mire aquí allá. Eso sí. The same, in the banks, I have observed that type of mentoring. First, eh, on, on the job training, the person watching the other work, and then, uh, like in my imagine would be like a second step, the person that is learning, working on doing the, the things that they are supposed to do, but there is another person, like can be a, a, a supervisor or another employee, watching and telling him or her, what to do in different situations, right? And they say, aha, uh -huh, there you have to do this and this. So that would be like the other step. First, the, the learner is just watching, 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 watching what's going on. And on the other one, the learner is doing and the other person is telling him or her how to do each of the steps that they have to follow yes okay well i'm going to let you work and i'm going to let you uh, answer each of these questions remember they are very individual right about you and then i'm going to send you to share with your partners in groups and at the end we will listen to some of you but first part is individual right First part is individual. What activities do I need to perform in my job? According to what you do, you tell me uh, the answers. You're there in your manual, what page? Mm -hmm. 34. 35. 35, yes. Page 30. And hope, oh, my computer. Bueno. <laughs> Hopefully, <coughs> sorry. Hopefully, at the end, we will have time to talk about the um, uh, will, right? Will. We will start talking about that today and we will finish tomorrow. Okay, go ahead. Don't tell me that you know everything and that you don't need training. I, that'll be part of be of making a good analysis of the job because we always need something to know, right?
Teacher, nos va a mandar en grupo o trabajamos así. I'm going to let you work individual first. Okay. This is individual. So about each each of you has a different job. So first you have to analyze your situation first. And then when you have analyzed your situation, <laughs> to share with your partners and to check if you're missing something, right? I'm going to okay. give you 10 minutes alone for you to analyze each of the points and complete answer each of the cases. And then I'm going to send you to, uh, to the groups.
Three more minutes. Hola. Hmm. Three more minutes. Hello, Rodrigo. Hello. Vaya, Rodrigo, as you are entering right now, right? Uh, what okay. you're going to do is uh, analyze this about you. Use the process. We were talking about the process of uh, identifying training opportunities. What you're going to do is use that information from the previous page to determine your skills and knowledge at work. Okay. Decide if you need to go to training and what training solutions would you prepare. And for that, okay. you have a questions. Right. What, what page is it? What page? Thirty-five. Page thirty-five. Yeah. Thirty-five. Yes. Okay. You have some questions that you will be answering about your job. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Identify my current skill knowledge. Mm -hmm. What specify specify skill do I need to perform my job? I'm um do it in your in your manual first, and then I'm going to send you to the groups for you to share with your partners. Okay, I will, I will write it down. Right. In one minute, I send you to the groups. Okay. You have two more questions, Rodrigo, on the other. Design skill and knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to okay. send you now. So you go chair and discuss your answers, right? Okay. David, you continue working. In this moment, it's a right at the home. Okay, perfect. Adriana, Adriana, now you're ready, right? Adriana, hello. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. is working. Bueno, uh -huh. I'm going to send you now. There you go. <clears throat> Share what you have, share what you brought, and then be ready to share with the rest of the class. Try to join.
el da Cristina. Nice. Ok. I think that shared our information and uh, about our, our job. Ok. Um, ¿Alguien de ustedes quiere comenzar? Y no sé si alguien puede compartir la pantalla y estoy del teléfono. Maybe Nubia. Uh, yo estoy desde la tablet, pero no, no he descargado el, el manual. Oh. Uh, I, I will share. Okay, perfect. And, uh... Mm -hmm. Remember what you're going to share with your partners is uh, your answers, right? For each of the questions. Okay. Um, in my case, for number one, what activities do I need to perform in my job? I need to perform uh, the process of cultures. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Two, what specific skills I need to perform my job? I am skilled to perform my job. Um, I think I skilled to perform my job um, because uh, it's very important. Um, uh, eh, additional training. Number three, are there any skills I lack and that could heal me? do my job better i think i uh, training the power bi platform for um for be my job better and number four what type of training program will be helpful to develop the skills I lack. What are some training solutions that do not conflict with my work schedule and personal life? Online programs, one day job training, mentoring, um, in my case, online programs and weekend programs uh, is very important for uh, training the new skills. Mm -hmm. Continue. Eso es todo, teacher. Okay, what about eh, Nubia? Pero, like, this is focus on the, <clears throat> what do you, what do you need? Dice, are the do it, do it better your job? What do you need you to know? Help me do my job better. Mm, this, this, and um, I don't know how can I put uh, Miss uh, because these are these 
any skill I'm lack. I don't know what I'm lack in the work. <laughs> Maybe I I think I do well everything, but the thing I am saying the the partner I have to uh, develop uh, Excel Excel and do some arts arts in the computer. Okay. But in my case, uh, if there are any skills that I lack and, and with the most, the most big uh, part or the biggest part for my job is with other person, with my customers, my clients, uh, I need to, to know technicals of objection handling and exec executive nego 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 negotiation. 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 Thank you for important clients. And, and basically, that's, that is the, the, the skills I lack. And even even if you are in sales, it's different because yeah. if if we, if if the people want to buy, they want to buy, uh, or they don't want to buy. That you need to convince them that they have a necessity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I need but... to create a necessity. Yeah, I, I need. You need to create the necessity. Exactly. Yeah. and and I need to convince that I can feel. Exactly. Uh, the necessity and, yeah. and the new techniques of sales. They say you don't uh, force uh, the end of the of, of the sale. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we need to encourage. Yeah, encourage. Yeah. That is the thing is. Uh, if you try to force a person to buy, mm -hmm. there's something mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes you go first to see. Mm -hmm. First you see, you observe, you analyze. And next time you go with your husband or with your wife to see, and then you go directly to buy. Right? Mm -hmm. So there are some moments for people to buy and a moment for the person to analyze. Uh, and yeah, you cannot publish the person. No, 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 Sebaya, you have to buy because the people will live and will not be <laughs> Yeah, right. That's, that yeah. has happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah. But as Rodrigo, Rodrigo is right, that when somebody wants to buy, they will buy. That, yeah. that if you are interested in buying, but the seller, it doesn't have like the right techniques, and they can make the person mm -hmm. go away and the person will buy, yes, but in another place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, right. And David. the number four, right? Yeah, um, the training solution. I don't know. Mm. Uh, I talked to my boss in, in, in so much times, and, and, and I say, What's Type of training we need on in in. Un rato en el que me estaba durmiendo. Okay. Hoy sí ya están todas, ¿verdad? Sí, sí he ido poniendo solo las las respuestas. No sé si se las mando al chat. No. No dice. Ah, pues por WhatsApp. Speaking, speaking, speaking time. Ah, uh, ok. Es que Zoom se ha estado portando súper mal conmigo, malísimo. 
Ay, y en serio, ayer terminó de convertirse a las 11 con 13 minutos. Ay, bueno. me quedó todo. <risa> Estoy portando muy mal, muy mal. Y hoy ya vieron que me sacó dos veces. <risa> bueno. Eh... Pero como que ha estado fallando el internet bastante porque yo ayer, o sea, prácticamente toda la clase la escuché así como robot. Toda, mm. toda la clase. Sí, se sí, siguió sí, bien raro si solo yo estoy conectada y tengo 40 megas. O sea, no es como para que se me caiga el internet, pues. Y son mi pesa. Bien raro. Uh -huh. Pero yo creo que la plataforma, a veces las nuevas actualizaciones vienen con errores en vez de venir buenas. <ríe> Pero fíjese, teacher, que cuando a mí me pasa eso con la red de aquí de la casa, me conecto con los datos y ya mejora un poco. Sí, pero como extraño. aquí, para conectarme con los datos, tengo que desconectarme y me va a volver a sacar. Entonces, mejor me, me quedo. <risa> <risa> se, me, se me corta la, la grabación a tener que subirla en tres pedacitos. Ay, 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 ay. Vaya, uh, 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 José Alfredo, share your information with your partners. ¿Y Diego? Uh, creo que no está disponible. Diego, hello. Diego, Diego. No lo tengo entre los que están trabajando, Diego. Sí, pero le hablamos y como que no está. Se nos va a andar por el baño. <laughs> Vaya, José Alfredo, tell, tell Lisette your information. Okay, the number one, uh, analyze the job. I session right and planning maintenance activities. Mm -hmm. I've got two, uh, identify my current skill and knowledge. Mm -hmm. I Right communication, working group, working based uh, plan. Uh, number three, decide skills and knowledge. Okay. I write, I need training about. Uh, hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Okay. Bye. How are you doing? Thank you, How are we, you doing? Were, we were answering uh, uh, question number three. Mm -hmm. Are there any skill I like and that will help me to do my job better? And Karen was telling that she can work she has two options. Uh, about her work, uh, but she also knows she wants to experience uh -huh. more, than, more than knowledge. Okay. Uh -huh. But the experience is with the time, right? The experience is with the time, what you can, uh, you can get knowledge. Because the experience... So, uh, lo que pasa es que yo le decía a ella que Quizás los conocimientos tecnológicos sí los conozco, pero la práctica se maneja de manera diferente. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿me gustaría tener un poco más de experiencia? ¿O siento que me hace falta ahí la experiencia práctica? Ajá, de practice. Practice. But that is by doing, right? That's by doing, by observing. And by doing, pero no estén escribiendo las cosas en el chat, sino que compartan las habladas porque cada el, 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 el cuadrito de cada quien es suyo. ¿Verdad? No es que van a okay. ser parejas, sino que el de cada quien es suyo. Okay. Que van a querer compartir la información de forma. No, yo te la mandé, teacher, por si no lo pronunciaba bien y no me entendía ella. Ah, no, pero sí se la entiende, no problema. <ríe> sí la entendemos. Sí, me puede entender. Ah, sí, 
Ahorita es speaking, oyen, ahorita es speaking, más que writing. Ya escribieron, ya escribieron. Okay. Se escribieron, hoy compártanse lo que escribieron. Porque sí. la, la respuesta de cada una va a ser diferente porque su trabajo es diferente. Ok. Okay. At my work, I want to have training or something that help me to uh, organize the the new program with the. Con la real, I don't, I don't know how to say it, teacher. The program of the Mined. No, lo que sucede que es, eh, we are learning about a new program. Uh -huh. eh, it, and I have to match the new program with the one that we usually use. Mm -hmm. So the way that you the way that you work with the kids, it's very different. Mm -hmm. in, in this moment, we have to put together the two programs. The in, what? The two programs. Uh -huh, uh -huh. In start to start to como, a, a, haciendo a los niños que se trasladen al nuevo programa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to switch, you have to switch to the new program. So the skills that I need is analysis. Maybe analysis. What you have to do is know how to use comparison and contrast, right? Making a chart. One program here, one side, the other program on the other side. And go matching the points from this program that match with the other one. So you have to play, put the one you have in order and the one that you got new in the other side. And you go pulling the information and putting like, like a matching theme. Mm -hmm. I, I had to do that a couple of years ago. Well, I have done it twice. One with the program of first year and then with the program of second year. We did it adapting the program that we use or that we had at the school with the program that the Miner gives and adapting mm -hmm. it. So adapting everything like the program we had that was uh, according to the book we use with the program from the MINED, so checking that every, everything matches and that has a logical order. So that's okay. I remember that when the program changed. Yes. Uh -huh. so, so that's why, uh, well, the skill that you will need to use there is comparison and contrast. How to make comparison and contrast. So you know what is similar, what is different, right? To do that much. And the other thing that I need to, that I need, that I need a training is about, well, this is personal. Mm -hmm. Teamwork, uh, I mean, o sea, I love to work in teamwork, mm -hmm. but my class is my class. O sea, the way that I do, is the way that I know that. Yeah, I know that. Mm -hmm. I know that. In this new program, what happens is that you have to be thinking about the other, thinking about the other, and it's difficult. Yes, I know what it, what it is. I know the feeling, Anna. We plan together. We plan the 11 people we are, we plan together. And the 11, we have the same thing. Right? 
of course, you always make adaptations depending on the group because one group is not the same as the other. But you have to, yeah, that's necessary. But you know what? When team working, it helps you that uh, sometimes you don't have a, or you don't know what to do in one specific point and somebody else has a better idea, right? So they you complement so part of teamwork. And, and that's good. It's a breaking hell that, but it's also, it has very good things. Because you always have to be, they say, are you agree? Do you like it? Do you want? Uh -huh. Do something in- What do you think about it? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. But you see here working in the in the small groups, you have learned to work in teams, and that's part of the process of learning. That's but of course, here is different because you're sharing, right? You're sharing. Yes. Uh -huh. You're sharing your information. And, and sometimes there, as you say, you have to uh, depend on somebody else. Y le voy a agregar otra cosa, y perdón que en español, a veces usted tiene cierta profundidad. Mm -hmm. O usted tiene específica, tiene bien claro qué es lo que quiere y para dónde va. Y cuando es no es para uh -huh. Yeah, no, I know. Sometimes you need to sit alone, analyze before going to and set where you are, where you want to go, and what you need. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but that is, as Karen said, with the practice, right? Little by little with the practice at the end, like, okay, yeah, now we can do it. Uh huh. Baya, so here you can say a teamwork, right? That's what you were telling me. Karen, what did you say? Um, in my case, I, I think a practical exercise um audit planning to to gain knowledge and experience, experience. of of the process process of the process mm -hmm. of the process and different circumstances mm -hmm. and imp implement practice exercise in the company that work so as not the inter Interfere. Do not interfere. Do not interfere with work um, in a normal way uh -huh. and advance in training. Okay. Oh, you're moving to the next question there, Karen. Yes, yes. You're moving there to question where you do the training in a way that it doesn't affect your job, right? Correct. Well, I'm taking you out in a minute for you to go share with the rest, okay? Okay. Okay, Basha, half are here.
Everybody here? Vamos a ver. Okay, I need a volunteer to chair number one. Analyze the job. What activities do I need to perform in my job? Volunteer, victim. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me, Jose Alberto. Okay, este, well, my, my job is focused on, on sale. I am a industrial seller. And uh, the activities do I need to perform my job? Uh, it's like uh, uh, I have to know my products very well and know that the benefits. I must visit and talk a lot with my clients. I have to look for new clients. And basically, I have to sell and meet my goals. Okay, great, great, great. Do you have like a, a top or how can I say? That's something that says, okay, you have to sell this amount this month? Every month. Every month. Every month that I, I have my, uh, my goals uh, has a increment. Mm -hmm. like a uh, 20% per month. So every month you are adding more and more and more. Yeah. Uh, in June, mm -hmm. I must be sell like a uh, 20,000 dollars and in July, 22,000. Wow. And August, 20, like uh, 22 and uh, 22,500. So you have to be increasing every, every month. Every month. Wow. wow. But I imagine there are months that are good and months that are not so good, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. For January, it's not good for selling. People have the to the, the best month. The best the best month for 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 me is the beginning uh, September. September. September, okay. October, November, December, and May. January. January. Really. February. Uh, so so much. February not so good. People have no money. February. They Estos son mis February. meses de vaca flacas. Yes. In February, because people have spent all money in schools and books. Yeah. And in this time, it's for, for the winter. Mm -hmm. The rain is terrible. It's terrible for me. Oh, wow. Wow. So, depends it's... on what you sell, right? The, 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 there are months that are good for each type of product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Great, great. Now, let's see. Thank you, Jose Alberto. Who wants to share question number two? What specific skills do I need to perform my uh, to perform a job? Am I skilled to perform a job? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Victim, Jose Alberto, choose one. Okay. No volunteer victim. Let me see. Look their face. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Diego. <laughs> Diego Batres. I don't know if Diego is here. We have been calling Diego. Diego, 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 Diego. No. No. He's connected, but he's not here right now. And um, okay, so Jose Alfredo Elias, very good. <laughs> what specific skills do you need to perform in your job, Diego? And are you still Alfredo? Alfredo. Alfredo. Alfredo, Diego. <laughs> Diego, no I decide <laughs> the, the skills I need. Uh, 
communication, working group, and working in based team. plan. In teams, porque working in group is one thing, but working. Oh, yes, in yeah. teams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And? Um, only that. Okay. Are you skilled to perform your job? Are you skilled? Mm, no. No. ¿Cómo no? Dígale a su jefe que sí. <laughs> Ajá. When working in teams, teamwork. Sometimes we we work in, team, in teams. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the rest of the day is in the bedroom. Uh, yeah, in the bedroom. Okay. But how do you feel about how skilled you are? Mm -hmm. I I feel good. I feel that I don't need more skills at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, thank you. Now let's see number three. Do I have a big team? Digo a volunteer. <laughs> or shall we choose a big team? Are there a big team? Big team. Okay, Jose Alfredo, choose the big team. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. Rosa Hilda. Rosy. Rosy, okay. are okay. there any skills you lack and that could help you do your job better? Yes, teacher. I knew uh, in a strategy to analyze the competition and trade for customer service and credit me. Okay. For the, ¿cómo se dice pendiente de farmacia, teacher? Like a... De esos lapsus brutus en que se me olvidó. Clerk. You're a, a pharmacy clerk. Pharmacy clerk. Uh -huh. okay. Ajá. By allí, we have a seller that can help you, right? To train or mentoring. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. And the last one. Rosy chose a victim. David, porque no está, se salva. Yeah. It's time. Rodrigo. By Hello. Way, what type of training program would you help? Would be helpful helpful to develop the skills you lack, and what are some training solutions that you do not conflict that do not conflict with your work schedule and personal life? Online programs, on the job training, or mentoring, Rodrigo. Mm. What time of training program would you be helpful to develop? Like, what training solution do you want to not conflict with? What is schedule for me? With your mentoring. Mm. Uh, I don't know, Miss. <laughs> I don't know. Um, identify the training. Ah, maybe uh, in here in the work, there they will be a training in Excel or in arts, do uh -huh. art, uh, because uh, the boss just says, do this, do it that. Uh, some some arts, uh, something in, uh, some, something in, in, in Excel or, or, uh -huh, yeah, most of the time, yes. But how do uh, you excel then? That will be your uh -huh. Uh -huh. Excel, 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 or uh, how 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 can I use it? 
because it's uh, Excel we can use as a normal, but um, like do uh, for yeah, some... There are many things you can do in Excel, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So imagine you don't want your training to conflict your schedule, but you don't want it either to conflict your personal life. So what type of training would you prefer? Online programs, on the job training or mentoring? Which would be better for you? Mentoring. Mentoring? Mentoring. Because if mentoring is someone helping to you, uh, how, how can uh, you do the things? Exactly. Exactly. So you're working and somebody can be telling you if you're doing well, if you can do it in a different way. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Uh -huh. Okay. Great. Well, we have two minutes. Any questions? Questions? No question, no teacher. Okay, perfect. Well, let's go for the last attendance. We have one minute. Uh, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Carlos Jose. Present teacher. David. <clears throat> David. Present, present teacher. Present. Diego. He has an emergency teacher. Yes. Yes. Diego. Yes, teacher. Buenas noches. Está haciendo calor. Maybe it rains later. Bueno, que dice que no. El Edwin. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. El Elda. Present teacher. Elmer. Elmer Fabricio. Emma Carolina. No, Emma. Jessica Lisset. <coughs> José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Karen Janet. Karen Karen. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lisa Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar. Rebeca Marcela. <coughs> Present teacher. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Hello. Present. Present. Ana Grisel, Carolina, Grace, Grace Michelle, Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Ok. Hoy Carolina. Ok, bueno, si yo tomo yo, sí, ¿verdad? <laughs> yes, see you tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel that like if it is Friday today. I know. Yeah, Friday. Good night. <laughs> Good night, teacher. Uh, see for Good you. Night, Good, Good night, night teacher. teacher. Good night, everybody. Good tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Did you see you?
Mm-hmm. <laughs>